little devices called iPods or iTouch, and most kids use them to listen to music or watch movies. But the Cashton School District is using them to help kids learn. News Channel 8's Jade Olds joins us live in the studio to tell us how the iTouch is being used for much more than entertainment. Well, in case you haven't seen one yet, this is an iPod Touch, and kids download applications, also known as apps, and usually, usually use them for entertainment. But some students in Cashton are using apps for things like spelling tests and science class, and teachers are using the iPod Touch as a way to individualize education. If we think about the world that we're really preparing them for. It's not a world of textbooks and pencils. So the Cashton School District is preparing students by bringing some of the latest technology into the classroom. We use the smart boards or iPods or the iTouches on almost a daily basis. And it's not just at the high school level. First and second graders practice their arithmetic on the iTouch and are already learning the basics of Microsoft Publisher. By using technology, it really does individualize their instruction. For example, an entire class could watch this video together, but the iTouch allows each student to take in the information at his or her own pace. This is a lifelong skill they're learning to focus and use a tool to maximize. You know, they're learning. And while the technology may seem advanced for early elementary, teachers say students are adapting just fine. I'm just trying to stay a step ahead of them. For the students that don't have these gadgets at home, keeping up with everyone else isn't so hard anymore. We are able to level the playing field the best that we can for kids so that even if they don't have the, the best, greatest thing at home as far as the iPod touch or laptop computer, when they're here, they have the opportunity to put their hands on them, use them, interact with them. And educators in Cashin hope that will translate into successful students. The Cashin School District uses the iTouch in their middle and high schools as well, and the district was able to purchase the devices with help from the federal stimulus dollars. All right, thank you, Jade. Governor Doyle has awarded a $5.2 million grant that will be used for technology and education. The money is expected to help more schools access te technology like the iTouch, and smart boards.